Hello there. Uh, welcome back to financial accounting in four. Uh, this video we want to look uh, at a question from the recent question paper of uh, November uh, 2024. Uh, so uh, we are going to look uh, at the second uh, question of that question paper. So uh, count and we are going to calculate our missing figures in as well as 22 marks and our uh, would spend on average at 20 minutes. So our question uh, is uh, Agnes Traders is a retail business that always uses a markup of 30% on costs. Uh, all the required parts are starting the trade receivables control account uh, below and answer the questions. So uh, you need to go through uh, the trade receivables control account. Yet. So uh, believe that uh, we have uh, questions uh, that are emanating from that trade receivables uh, control account. First part is say calculate uh, the balance of this account at the end of the month. So uh, we are given our account. So the balance that is being asked is uh, the balance uh, that is going to be our balance CD and our balance BD. So uh, obviously, uh, remember uh, the steps that we use is we first uh, calculate uh, the total of the debit and the total of the credit. And then when you get the two totals, we can now be able to compare and uh, to see which total is bigger or which is greater. Uh, then we are supposed to put uh, the greater total uh, inside the double lines on both sides. Then the side with the smaller total is going to be the side that we put our balance CD then our balance BT will go to the opposite side uh, BD, PR below the double line. So uh, basically, that's, uh, those are the steps that we're going to use. So by calculating the total of the debit, uh, we are uh, going to uh, see that our other section, we have it here. So basically, we are saying uh, for well, the debit side, we've got 68,302. Uh, 68,302. And then we add uh, uh, the next figure that we are given is dated 2,200. We add the next figure that we are given, uh, which is 3,841. And from there, we are supposed to get 850. And then from 850, we get up 5,666. So uh, we end there, you see that at the total uh, that you are supposed to get, uh, we can just maybe uh, indicate the total uh, B, we get uh, the total to get the total of the debit. And you see that we're able to get a figure of 170,859. 170,859. And then this is, is our credit. This is our debit. Sorry, this is a representation audit. Uh, we are going to say uh, the figures that we have, we have put are uh, 49,650. And then we end 650. Uh, 650. And then we end 1,520. And then it, uh, 398. Right. So uh, this is uh, what we have. And then we see that uh, if we add there, the total that we are supposed to get is going to be 52, uh, 52,218. Uh, so this is, so by comparing, we are seeing that the greater total, we are seeing it uh, on, the, uh, on the debt side. So obviously to calculate now, uh, we are now seeing the greater total uh, minus uh, the smaller total. So basically, uh, we can as well try to balance that account whereby we are seeing uh, the greater total will come in between uh, the double lines, whereby we have 170,000 uh, 170, here, 170,859, which will come in 859. And uh, the side with the smaller total of balance CD. And the balance CD will be the uh, difference between the greater total and the smaller total, whereby we are seeing. 170,859 minus 52,218 CDS, 118,641. Uh, we should come again opposite side and below the double lines. This will balance BD. So basically, this is a complete balance of the account. But uh, in this question, only needs us to calculate the balance. So uh, we go to our other section. Uh, we see that after calculating, uh, we can now be able to just uh, summarize the working. So uh, in the working section, uh, you can just say uh, the 170,000 that you got there, total of the credit, which is 52, 
thousand two hundred eighty. You really get your balance figure is one hundred and eighteen thousand six hundred and forty-one. So basically, this is how we find the balance. We we'll go to the next question, uh, which reads: Set whether this it is a debit or a credit balance. So to see if it's a credit or a debit, you check with the side that we have balance BD. So you see that in this question, our balance BD is on the debit side. So it means it has a debit balance. So that's as simple as that. So we come here, uh, we see that 2.2, uh, we've identified it as a debit balance. So we can just say uh, debit balance. Obviously, so that's our response. I will go to the next part, point three. What does this balance are? It's a trade receivable, uh, trade receivable control uh, account where we record uh, the customers uh, that we are selling goods to what call the credit uh, for, uh, for under the trade receivables control. So if you have got a balance with the debit, it means uh, this is an amount that the customers are owing us as a business. We sold to them goods or credit and then they are owing us one hundred eighty thousand six hundred forty one. So total amount due by customers. So is the uh, response. So here we are saying total, total amount due, uh, total amount due by my customers. So uh, this is uh, the description that we have to take so our 2.3. Then move on to the next question, which is now 2.4. 2.4 is name the control account for the amount 92,200 on the debit side of the account. We go there. See that uh, this is uh, the question. So they did that name 92,200. Uh, and we see that uh, it's in the sales dollar. So obviously, uh, we are saying that uh, when we sell goods on credit, uh, the double entry that is involved is that we credit sales account and then we debit uh, the trade receivable control account. So uh, here we have sales. So we come here and uh, get that response. We have uh, 2.4, we have sales. We move on to the next part, which is about 2.5.1. Uh, obviously, state the following references uh, for the following uh, quarter accounts. Uh, petty cash. So, this is a uh, petty cash journal for. Uh, remember, we have uh, uh, the, our representation in terms of uh, being, uh, being cash uh, payment journal, CPJ4. So, uh, if it's petty cash, also it's PCJ, which is a uh, petty cash journal. Uh, four. So we can just say for the other section, uh, we have PCJ, uh, standing for Petty Cash Journal, and we have a four, and 2.5.2. Sundry accounts, the number of Sundry accounts uh, with Arab Journal, so uh, General Journal 4, uh, GJ. So you can see General Journal. So, so uh, that's what we have. We want 2.6. Name the control account uh, for the amount 1,520. For the credit side of the account. So I'm here 1520 here. So it's a CRJ, sales returns or not. So obviously, uh, the representation here is sales returns. So uh, we can be here. So we can try to understand again uh, sales returns. Remember, uh, sales returns, it means that the customers is returned uh, the goods that they bought. So obviously, the amount that they are owing has to be reduced since they retained some of the goods. So we credit to reduce uh, the amount that the, uh, the, 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 uh, Data or the trade receivable is owing. So, uh, so this is uh, what we have. So, you will see uh, these are the representation of sales and returns. So, we come here. So, we are saying here we have sales. Sales and returns will go to 2.7. 2.7 it says name one transaction. Name one transaction that could possibly give rise to the entry of a uh, 3,841 on the debit side of the account. Uh, name one transaction that could possibly give rise to the end of 3,841 on the debit side of the account. So you come here, we put 3,841. So uh, we have banked. So the issue is uh, we are having a description of bank. Remember, uh, initially, when we record bank in the trade receivable control, it's when uh, the customers are paying their money. That's when we, we credit our trade receivables and then we debit a pay. Like in this case of this uh, entry that we have here, it indicates a payment by a trade receivable or by customer. So when you bank appears on the debit side, it means uh, uh, it might be a check uh, that was uh, uh, drawn uh, by the customer, uh, which has been disordered. 
uh, it wasn't processed. So that's why we are indicating it was the side to reinstate the amount owing uh, because uh, we are assumed that uh, the customer had paid. But uh, since uh, the check has been retained, so we, we reinstate the amount that uh, that customer is owing by uh, either on the tape side. So that's uh, the representation uh, that we have here. So it can be a dishonored check. Uh, obviously, it will be retained RG prepared to draw. So we come here. Uh, 2.7, we are saying are uh, disordered. Uh, disordered check, uh, or we can uh, just indicate it in brackets as energy. So uh, this is what we have got transactions uh, that could possibly give rise to the end of 398 runs on the credit side of the account. Is two, end of uh, 398. So we go to check 398. We see that it's just retained certain accounts. So uh, what can it uh, be? So uh, Remember, if there is any paid debt, uh, a debt debt we are saying, uh, we sold uh, goods to or the credit to a customer, but the customer, maybe the customer has died, so we cannot uh, repay the amount uh, due, so we have to uh, remove it by crediting. So it falls under sundry accounts, and we uh, just say uh, it's a credit loss or a debt debt. So that can be one of the reasons. So we come here, uh, we say uh, the first point, we are saying credit loss, and the other reason that we can, uh, it can it might be simply the correction of an error and that transferred on the debit side. Maybe we put a, 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 an amount that has been overstated on the debit side. Uh, so we can just uh, reduce it by entering on the credit side. So it can have a description of that summary and it becomes a correction of an error. So these are the two that we can set. But also, you can also include a transfer of balance uh, from trade receivables and, uh, to uh, trade uh, payables. So we can say uh, if there are transfer balances between the trade receivables and the trade payables, we can such uh, have such uh, an entry. So we go to uh, two point nine. Set the source document uh, for the entry of six hundred and fifty. We check six hundred and fifty. We are having it here. Settle the discount credit. Uh, so obviously, source document is the journal. Journal of Russia. The journal of Russia is the source document of settlement discount credit. So we come here. Uh, we indicate it as journal of Russia. So uh, this is uh, what we guys are going to do this video. Hopefully the video was helpful. And please, uh, let's not forget to subscribe and share to our channel. Uh, let's take note uh, more questions on the question paper of uh, financial accounting info. November 2024 uh, are going to be uploaded on the channel. So let's stay tuned. Let's meet again in the next video. Let's for this video signing out.